Hey, welcome back to the channel. So, got a couple jobs to get done here today. I've got this chainsaw blade sharpener. We're going to mount this downstairs. So, we've also got to do a quad repair. I got an oil change, diff service. What you doing, home size? <laughs> Trying to talk to the people. <laughs> so, yeah, we got to do some uh, oil change, front diff, rear diff, tranny fluid replacement, and the quad. Then, I got to grease all the bearings real quick. So, I'll take you with me, show you how we do this, and uh, be right back with it. Okay, so here's what we're putting in. We've got gear oil, that's for the transmission and the rear diff. We've got two quarts oil and a filter for the engine oil. And then we've got this demand drive and that's for the front end. Um, we've got a little pump up here we use to squirt it all in. So let me get a light under here and I'll be right back with you. All right, so we got a plug right here. We shine some more light up here. Got a little plug right there. This is the front diff. Honey, grab me a box wrench right there. Box yep. Thank you. So she's free and loose. So now I can spin it out nice and easy. And now that I got it loose, I'm going to do the fill plug, which is up top here. So I got to hit this fill plug right here. And the way I got to do this is that wrench went where? Up to the back. Let's see what kind of <clears throat> shavings we have on the plugs. Usually these are magnetic plugs. Definitely the, the drain plug is. The fill plug is not. So let me set the fill plug up here in a second. I'll take the drain plug out here again now. So what we don't want to see is a whole lot of metal shavings, but we should expect to see some metal shavings. Oh, this is a little stiff. Okay, there's not a lot of metal shavings. A little ring. So you got our tissue there, babe? So I'll show you how we do this. We lightly blot this oil with a tissue, and the tissue will suck the oil up without taking a lot of the metal shavings with it. Just lightly blot.
All right. And what we'll be left with is the metal shavings. And there's a little bit on there, not a lot. Good deal, okay. Almost all of the oil is drained out here. It's getting a little trickle. It doesn't take a lot to fill this bugger. It's like, I don't know, four or eight ounces. I don't know, maybe 10 ounces or something. It's less than one quart. All right, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and refill that. Plug her up. plugged uh, all right so this front diff here it takes demand drive it's uh for hub and centralized hilliard clutches it's a clutched front drive system the uh the four-wheel drive on this only activates when it senses the rear wheels are slipping so it doesn't take a lot what we're gonna do is oh my head are in the right spot pump this get the oil flowing until no more goes. Well, actually, until we, we see it running out. Yeah, she's full. Good deal. Okay. We're all set with the front diff. We're going to move on to the engine oil. All right. <clears throat> so now we're going to pull the drain pin for the oil. Go open up the oil fill cap over there on the machine. All right, I gotta get this filter to break free. Oh, there she goes. You got her turning good. Okay. I'm gonna let this bugger drop. All right, got a little oil on the camera, but not on the lens. A couple paper towels, please. Typically, you run the motor first to get everything nice and hot, and uh, get the oil running nice and free, but. It's not that big a deal here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put that back in. Drain plug. And you've got a filter there handy, right? I do. Um, the socket wrench, the ratchet. Perfect. Thank you, babe. It's all set there. Take that guy. Uh, we don't have a gasket on here, do we? Nope. Okay. I just do it hand tight. There we go. That's good there. All right. So now we're going to do the transmission. And you always pull the fill plugs before you're. Before you pull the drain plugs. Ah. So, 
she being stubborn. Um, this way, if you can't get the fill plug open, you haven't drained all your fluid out. Oh my God, that's in too tight. So that's broke loose. And when you fill these, we'll drain out the plug down there. It's a little lower. And then we refill it. We fill it till it just fills up to, till it's dripping out there. That fluid looks nice and clear and clean. Plug's got no nasties really on it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we gotta get in here to the drain plug and get that in there. And I gotta get my wrench on this. Let's hope we don't drop our Allen wrench in the oil. Ah, good golly, that's in tight. That is too tight. Who is cranking these in there like this, Kevin? handy in a second but let's see what kind of fluid comes out first and where it goes blue there it all goes got a pretty big catch pan here so hopefully it all goes to the back it looks clean doesn't it yeah super clean and there's like next to nothing on this really nothing for metal shavings just one thank you i'm gonna go ahead and put this back in now Call it a day there. And I think she takes a bottle and a half of oil. Um gear oil. That's tight. Okay. Now the gear oil bottle. Thank you, baby. Good job. Remember, it takes a bottle and a quarter or a bottle and a half or something like that. Oh, I popped it off. broken this sensor right here before that causes all kinds of problems the speed sensor for everything so the damn machine don't know how fast it's going it screws up the engine transmission freaking diagnostic system abs all of it makes it run goofy and all the alarms go off man why is this freaking killing my arms i'm practicing pumping gear oil in 30 degree air she's thick Two Z's. One finger in this shit. Oh. Gonna do more 
working out. I don't do none of that shit. It's too much like work. And I don't like going out. Perhaps next time we do this in the winter, we should like bring it in the house overnight. The quad? No. <laughs> the hair oil. Uh -huh. So that it's not so thick. Uh, Easier to pump. Yeah. Uh, not a bad idea if you I was thinking. So, the dip, oil stick, oil piece, and look. You give me a couple tissues real quick, or one tissue real fast. Okay, put this bugger back in. shelf is a little bit of um, brake clean honey. Okay. All right, so we got the little fill and drain plugs here. I gotta get the dirt and crud out of them. So we'll pop the fill first. that guy. Let's pop this one. Got that guy nice and easy. No, pop the... Just make sure that turned for me. She did. Alright, so now we'll drain it. This is the last uh, bit we got. So we got the front diff already. We did the engine oil. We did the transmission. Now we're on the rear diff. This is the one that gets the most use and abuse. Oh yeah. Oh. There's still a tissue there, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna set this guy right there just a second. And we'll pop this guy off. Let the bottom drain quicker. This one I should flush out. I'm gonna flush this one out. So the fill is nice and clean. That, uh... That rear's got some some shavings on her. Um, honey, would you grab a tissue and wipe off on the jack there for me? Or you know, I'll take the flashlight from you. So I'm flushing it out a little bit, trying to get some of that gray metal shaving-y. Ah, uh, there it goes, puking out. All right, you want to light that up for me, babe? Okay. So, I'll let this guy set on it. Diff just moved. She's full, I think. All right. 
screaming a magic rag, magnet tissue there, baby. Okay, so we just gotta tighten down the fill plug now. And the oiled services are done, and then we're gonna do the bearings real quick, and we're all done. Okay, and I gotta figure out why the hell this div is so loose. Oh, shank, let me see. Is it a light? So we're gonna do this assembly line fashion. I'm gonna run around, smack all my powder pins out. So now we gotta pop the brake pads, make brake calipers off. Zip his axle nut off. We'll pull this here. Take a grease tool here and we'll insert this in here. Yep, she goes right in. Nice and easy. Now, I'm gonna try to give her some grease. Sides. So now we're just gonna um, use a pair of pliers here and hold the bearing while I try to pull this tool. There she goes. There she is. Set that guy right there. And take this rotor and put this rotor back in. And you gotta tap these. Sure they stay in there. That's in. Grab our washer. Dome is going this way. Put this guy in. We'll zip it back on. Put our cotter pin back in real quick. And then we repeat the process three more times. All right, cotter pin, pliers, and cutters. Heads back on. Okay. 
Yeah, it's a little tedious, but it is what it is. You gotta do it, so. Get this wrench in. There's another wrench around somewhere. This. Got here, so put some oil in her. She takes two full quarts. Outside. Okay. Good. I learned a trick with Thor. What you is stand it? Stand in the middle of the back hill and you throw rocks up and down. Yeah. Tires him right out real quick. Ooh, nice. Oh yeah. He was most excited. He chased her at the bottom. He likes doing the rocks, huh? Oh my god. All right, we're He's calling it full right there. Fanatic. Come on, girl. She got a very tight little window she goes in. Mm -hmm. All right. Machine is serviced. Now we'll look at the dash here. And so you see the service light? Mm -hmm. So we're going to hit mode. Options. Service 100. Cool. All clear. Sounds good. So, put this back on the shelf. Put this over there. Brake clean, go on the shelf with me.
Clean up, clean up, everybody clean up. You know, I'm a kid kind of virgin. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Anything I'm missing for you? Anything like that? Mm -hmm. Oh. Shit. Yes, yeah. there is. Fuck a duck. Hang tight. I can just remember something. You can shut that off. <laughs>